Right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm reacting to the Cardinals versus Patriots game. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Normally, I do an honest reaction where I've not seen the games. It's my first time seeing it. But I stayed up last night to watch the game. Obviously, UK time, it was on till like five in the morning. But I stayed up and I watched it. Obviously, being a New England fan, I had to watch the Patriots. And I'm pretty happy, to be honest with you. We didn't play the best, but you get a dub. You can't complain. Obviously, got a bit lucky with Kyler getting injured. But I was still going to react to it because I always react to the Monday Night Football. And it'd be good to watch it back because I was pretty groggy and tired. So it'd be good to watch this back and uh, see what kind of plays I missed and stuff like that. Guys... Also want to hear, if you're a Patriots fan, comment down below, what do you think our record will be at the end of the year? We've got like the Bengals, Raiders, Dolphins and the Bills to come, which rosters wise, we're well worse than. So we could end up not winning another game. So let me know down in the comments what you think our um, record is going to be. And obviously apologies for the mess. I'm cleaning out my room for Christmas. So I've got the golf clubs in the back. Ignore that. After Christmas, they won't be there. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, let's go. Cardinals versus Patriots. The Cardinals get the ball first. And as you'll see, Colt McCoy is in the game. Kyler Murray got injured on the third play. Obviously, I hope he recovers soon. But look, he hurt his knee pretty bad. So, I hope he recovers soon. So then, third and 12. They kept getting themselves in this situation in the game. They kept falling behind the sticks. We take the check down there. Good tackles on the Patriots. And they're going to try and take their points. So, fourth and seven. The kick is up. And it's wobbling all over the place, the kick, and it misses, which is really helpful for the Patriots. Now let's see what we can do. First and 10, crossing route. Thank you very much. Easy first down. Now third and 14. Incomplete. It's batted by the D-line, and yeah, we have to punt the ball back. So then first and 10, corner's trying to fit in, scoots to the left, loads of room, good patience, and a good tackle for Marcus Jones. Ooh, nice throw. It's always that like a deep curl, throws it overneath the hook curl, easy first. Now second and seven, Colt McCoy is looking good. Play action. Steps up, but that is a great sack. Does that go to Judon? Good pressure. So they're second and six. And Parker, that's the last play you'll see of him. He got concussed like crazy there. So now second and nine. You'll see a lot of these short throws. I think Matt Jones' average throw was like four yards for the game. Lots of screens. Lots of swing routes. Lots of slants. So second and seven, play action. Max steps up, it gets batted, or it gets tipped or whatever. And it's picked by Simmons. So it leaves the Cardinals in a really good field position. Good pressure from the Cardinals. Now third and four, slant, great read. Good throw from Colt McCoy, and that's a first down to Marquise Brown. Or Hollywood Brown, as he's well known. Now third and six, throws it up. Perfect defense from the Patriots. So they're going to take their points. And this time he's not going to miss it. The kick is good. And my camera's, uh, my light's gone off. How weird is that? Let me try and turn that back on. Now, in the meantime, Bourne. There we go. <laughs> in the meantime, Bourne picks up a first. Oh, it's a third, sorry. Nearly picks up a first. So second and one. See, so many quick throws. You're not going to see the expansive passing game. You're going to see slants, screens, and short throws. <laughs> but if you can work your way up the field, be patient, don't make mistakes, we'll win this game. So first and 10. Hands the ball off. Harris scoops to the outside, fights for a first. And we're in a good field position. So now first and 10. Hands the ball off. Harris scoots to the right, fights his way in, reaches for it, and it's a touchdown. This is one of our rookies we drafted. We drafted two rookies at running back this year. And they're both going to feature in the game. But happy for Harris to get his first touchdown, to be honest with you. It's always nice to see someone get their first touchdown. And he was really helpful on that drive. So, fair play to him. Now, Colt McCoy throws it up second and six. Absolutely pass interference. The flag comes in. If, you, if it shows a replay, he grabs Hollywood Brown's shoulder. 
I think he hooks him as well, so definitely a pass interference. Can't do that. It's now first and 10 on the 30 yard line. Quick throw. D Hop being elusive, picked up the first. Now third and nine, what can they do? Cole McCoy surveying, throws it up. D Hop catches it one handed, but he's out of bounds. So I think they're going to end up taking their points. 32 yard attempt. Kick is up. And he's nailed that down the middle. And the kick is good. So 7 6 now. Can the Patriots capitalise? Third and 13. Doesn't look like it. So Max looking, looks left. And I think he catches it for the first. He marks it a catch. It's a good first down. Good catch from Aguilar. So let's see if we can put a drive together. Now we have a third and 14. I told you there's loads of screens coming, boys. Nothing good happens from there, to be honest with you. So we're going to have to punt the ball back. It's now first and 10. Play action. Good throw from McCoy. He's better than most backup quarterbacks, to be fair. So Cardinals have a good backup in McCoy. Now second and four. Play action again. Ooh, great catch. Robbie Anderson. Patriots are linked to him this year. Cardinals go out and get him. That's a great catch. Now third and eight. Takes his crossing route. Robbie Anderson again for a first down. And now first and goal. Hands the ball off. Connor's fighting. Gets a big push from the O-line. And it's a toddy. No way that should have been a touchdown. It's got to be stuffed, but good fight from James Connor. So now third and 11, what can we do? Two minute warning's already been. Max, jo Max Jones? Max Jones gets clattered. We've got to punt the ball back again. That sums up our offense at the moment. It's just going nowhere. Now third and one. Great stop from Judon. So we are going to get the ball back. Can we make any plays before the second half? But they're going to go for it with fourth and one. Play action, he rolls to, the, rolls to the right, Tavai slaps that away. A bit of a risky play, to be honest with you. I'm surprised he didn't punt. Played field position. Patriots probably would have nailed it out. <laughs> None of the Patriots. Now they have a chance, second and ten. Great throw up the seams to Hunter Henry. Big first down, puts us in field goal range. And first and ten, goes to hand the ball off and he fumbles it. Matt Jones does end up getting the ball back, but what a stupid play. That makes it a lot longer kick for when we do try and kick it. So 51 yards. Kick is up. It's up the middle. Can he reach? Yes, the kick is good. But terrible again for the Patriots. They've not been good in the two-minute warning this year. That's another mistake that nearly cost them. But they do get the ball back. First and ten. Can they put a drive together? Matt hits that curl route. Picks up a first. Vaughn gets slammed into the ground. But a first down is a first down. Now second and twelve. What can we do? Look at that play design. We tend to do the end around. It's actually a screen. And we pick up a first to Pierre Strong, our other rookie running back. He is rapid, by the way, guys. Reminds me a bit of Tony, Podlar, uh, Tony Pollard for the Cowboys. But look at him here. First and 20. Scoots to their left. And he is gone. That's like a 40-yard run. Out of nowhere. That's why you need plays that are fast in your team. Make big plays out of nowhere. Now, third and 10. He's looking left. Throws it out route to Thornton. He's just short, I think, of the marker. Yeah, he's just short. Page is going to take their points, which I think is the smart thing to do. Keeps them level, and then they're going to trust their defense. So the kick is up, and it's good. So second and three now. Play action. Throws it up. Great throw. Brilliant throw from Colt McCoy. Good read. And D-Hop getting open again. So now third and nine, or well they 45 yard line. McCoy drops back, throws a little table route or a flat route, whatever you want to call it. James Connor's fighting for it, can't pick up the first. 
but the Cardinals are super aggressive in their own uh, when they're in the opposition half. So they're going to go for it. Four from five. He's looking left. Throws it to Hollywood Brown. He dives and he drops it. If you see that another angle of that, you should have caught that to be honest with you guys. And it puts us in a decent field position. Third and six now. Bourne was open on the crossing route. I don't know why he didn't take him. Aguilar doesn't come down with it. We're going to have to punt the ball away. Bourne looked wide open with the crossing route there. It's now first and ten. Good. Nice. But a good tackle from Dugger and Hopkins fumbles it to Raekwon McMillan. He takes it to the crib for a tuddy. Look at him go. Now, if he shows another replay, D Hop holds the ball like that in one hand, and it's just a bit of a ropey play, to be honest with you. He's got to protect the ball better than that. And a good read again from McCoy. It's kind of the same thing. If they give McCoy time in the pocket, he's got to make reads. He's a good enough quarterback to make them throws. So you've got to send more pressure. Look, laser again. Marcus Jones nails that tight end, but he holds on to it. And McCoy's throwing lasers when you give him time. you got to start sending some heat. Second and 13. He throws it up and it's picked. I think someone swatted or um, hit Colt McCoy's arm as he went to throw it. Because D-Hop looks gone as well. That's a big pick for the Patriots. In good field position. Third and five now. Max steps up. Rolls out, throws it to Kendrick Bourne for a big first down. But it feels like it's so hard to get first downs at the moment. It's always hard work to get a first. It can't be simple. So they're first and ten. As I say that, Mac Jones throws down the seams to Hunter Henry. is wide open in cover three. Great read from Mac Jones. Now can we get a touchdown? First and goal. Strong bounces to the left. Gets his first touchdown of the NFL season. His first ever NFL touchdown. And it's well deserved. He's made some big plays. There's a flag there, but it goes on the Cardinals. Sorry to ruin it for you guys. That's a big touchdown. It now leaves us 27-13 up. And the, the Cardinals have to start throwing the ball a lot deeper. And it plays into the Patriots' advantage. So now fourth and three. You've got to send the heat. McCoy's rolling out to the left. There's a flag. He gets hit. Gets a first down anyways. Look at the fight on the man. It's now first and ten. We've got to start sending some pressure. Oh, and as I say that, Dudon comes flying in on the play action. Loves his trademark celebration. Thank you very much. Now fourth and 13. They have to go for it because they're so far down. Pressure's coming in. Everyone's swarming. Uche gets the sack in the end. That's all come from Judon coming off the edge. And we get the ball back in good field position. Or we don't, sorry. We don't get good ball back in good field position. Just a sack. Oh, no, we did. It's, sorry. The NFL have randomly cut that by like 10 minutes. That's really confused me. We end up not getting points on that drive. The Cardinals end up with the ball. Three minutes left. Uche comes in for the sack. The NFL randomly just cut that game by like eight minutes or something. So I wasn't quite sure what was going on. But 4th and 13, they have to get this. The pressure's coming in. McCoy's running around. Uche dives. Gets the sack. And that's GG's right there. The Patriots are going to get the ball. I think they're going to end up kneeling it out. Obviously, they just need a first down to secure it. So they hand the ball off. Pierre Strong shoots to the right. Look at that cut. He's going to be one to watch for the rest of the season. And there we go. GG's, that's game over. Great win for the Patriots. I was a bit nervous about the Cardinals. Obviously, Kyler Murray getting injured really, really helped us. But you still got to win these games. We got the dub. Like I said at the start of the video, guys, if you're a Patriots fan or even if you're not, let me know in the comments what you think the Patriots record is going to be. They've got four really hard games coming up. Raiders, Dolphins, Bills and the Bengals. Three of them are top four teams in the AFC. And the Raiders have a really good offense. So, um... I'm a bit worried. I don't know if we're going to win anymore, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you as always for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.